Alright guys, so in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get out of the map on Flooded. First thing you want to do is go to search and destroy, then for op, and then you want to get at least one friend. And go to options, and go to round, length, unlimited. So let's do that. Okay, then bomb timer, it doesn't matter. Uh, plant time doesn't matter. Diffuse time doesn't matter. But this stuff doesn't matter besides score limit. You want to put on the limited and round switch, never. You want to put on player options, do it unlimited lives. Max health, half. So, they're not half, I mean, um, double. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Max health, re regeneration, normal, no, uh, default loadouts. Or you can if you want, but it doesn't matter. Radar always on, yes. And friendly fire on. But, um, this, you don't have to put friendly fire on, but only if you're doing it with more than one person. Join in progress doesn't matter. But now we're gonna get in the class setup. Um, so here we go. Let me just clear my class out. Okay, so for your primary it doesn't really matter, but I'm just gonna be using the chainsaw uh, for this tutorial because of how much ammo and how many ammo the magazines can hold. So you wanna get really um, uh, heavy dealing damage perks for the gun you use. Secondary, you need one. Um, I'd recommend the gold PDW because if you get a field order, it says get one kill with a secondary, you need a secondary. Lethal frag grenade because, and then tactical none because for lethal, you need to put a frag or, you can have any exploding lethal, but um, so you can do another field order. Perks, agility and marathon, hardline, and then put on um, resilience and scavenger. But um, yeah. Strike package, you wanna go to assault. You wanna uh, put Loki, Juggernaug, and Maniac. Um, this is optional, you don't even need a strike package, but I just use them just in case. Um, if you have more than one, if you have only one player. But um, yeah. Now let's get into the game. I'm gonna show you how to basically get out of the map. So here we go. You wanna go over to your friend's spawn and you want to kill them once. So I'm gonna go over to his spawn. Oh, and by the way, the person I'm practicing this on is Tasty Burger. I'll leave the link to his channel in the description. I'd recommend going for headshots because since you put on half, they're I mean double their health will be really high. You want to get field orders and you want to keep getting field orders on them. So once you get a field order you want them to kill you. And once they kill you, you want to run back to their spawn. Pick up the field orders again. Tell them not to get your field orders. But um, yeah. You want to go back to their spawn. And you basically just want to get the field orders back. Once you do that, you want to complete them, and you can see you get one kill with a non-kill streak explosive, which is a frag grenade, so I'm just going to tell them to step in this corner, and I'm going to throw a grenade at them. Okay, I don't know why that didn't work, but if you're, you're um, if anything fails, you just let them kill you again, so I'm going to let them kill me. But um, basically, um, you just want to keep doing this process over and over again till you get about 10, 10 to about seven field orders um, completed. Once you do that, you can um, stack them on top of each other to get out of the map. Like I'll show you in a second here, but um, I'm just gonna keep killing them until you get all about all of your field orders. So I'm just going to skip this. Okay, so now that you got enough field orders, you want to stack them on top of each other by doing something like this. Make sure they don't go out of the map. Your care packages like that one just did. Just want to keep stacking them on top of each other like I'm doing right now until you get about three of them stacked on top of each other. If your airspace gets crowded, 
you want to just um try and wait for another one um one of the airspace clear and like i've seen here once they stack you just want to jump on top of them and basically you're out of the map you just want to jump out of the map once you're on top of the, your third thing and then once you're done that you're basically done with this little out of the map glitch i hope you enjoyed and if you want to see more um out of the map glitches like um this just click that like button and also subscribe leave a comment tell me which map you would like to see next and by the way this map is absolutely huge like you can go out of the map and everywhere stay away from any trees that look really fake because if you go near them you will probably uh, fall out of the map and die and you'll have to re restart this all over again but yeah this map is huge i believe there's this giant mountain that you can climb on over there but um yeah that's it i appreciate it if you would like and subscribe and yeah i'll see you guys in the next video peace